Hello children, in this video we are going to do session 9 of unit 4 web applications and security. Maintain workplace safety. Work, workplace is the place where we used to spend most of our time. So it, our workplace should be safe. Every organization must follow a standard set of safety rules and procedures. These rules must be stated and displayed clearly at important areas. All the employees must be given a demonstration and training to follow safety rules. So our work, workplace should be safe and for that certain rules should be set up and they should be known by all the employees which are working in an organization. Basic safety rules to follow at workplace are fire safety, Pause and slip, electrical safety, use of first aid. Now, first we have the fire, basic fire safety rules in an organization. Most of the time, fire can be prevented using appropriate measures. Fire escape plan must be installed at proper labels. Conduct regular drills. So, in an organization, we should have the fire escape plan. We should have the plan if fire get, if if uh, the if any situation come where any uh, such, uh, fire gets uh, happen. So what we should do, right? Then we have uh, we should have, we should uh, conduct the regular drills to escape from these situations if something like that happens. Smoke alarm must be placed at proper intervals. So we should have the smoke alarm. So if smoke is there, the alarms uh, should bang on, right? Keep workplace a no smoking zone. So your workplace should be a no smoking zone. Maintenance of safety equipment must be taken care of regularly. Right? So these are some basic fire safety rules in an organizations so if uh, if because of some reason fire gets erupt so what uh, are the different measures that we can take right then we have pause and slip safety rules if some somebody falls or somebody gets slips so what safety measures what safety rules you can follow keep the moving area clean and clutter free so the moving area always clean and it should be clutter free it should be clean uh, it should be uh, flattened right then workplace must be proper ventilated receive lights it should be proper ventilated having proper manage, management of air and it should have the proper light we are non slippery footwears so your footwear should be uh, the employees footwear should be non slippery floor must be clean and dry floors all, always must be clean and dry oil spills dust must be immediately clean if uh, because of some reason oil gets spilled or uh, some dust is there they should be clean at that very time then we have the electrical safety rules the use of electrical Electric equipment has helped in our routine tasks, whether it is at home or office, but if precaution and safety measures are not taken daily, then they might be a cause of trade to our lives. We know that we require lots of the electrical equipment in our daily life, but we should take care while using them, right? So following are some of the measures we should take to keep ourselves safe, safe from electric electricity hazards and accident if any kind of electricity hazard or accident happens then what you should do electrical equipment should you used should be approved by a recognized organization always try to use the electrical equipment which are uh, recognized which have a particular seal on them uh, workers should be trained to handle the electric equipment safely workers who work with the electrical equipment they should be fully trained about their working damaged and hazardous electrical equipment should be immediately replaced all old and workout and freight switches and wires should be changed okay the uh, equipments which are damaged they should be replaced immediately immediately and old and old switches and the fresh switches and the wire should be changed 
heat emanating equipment should be kept away from the electrical equipment the equipment which produces the heat they should always keep away from electrical equipment take care that the outlet circuit should not be overloaded and always take the care that the circuits and uh, the you know, electric switches should not be overloaded switch off and unplug the electrical appliances before cleaning or relocating them okay so if you are uh, cleaning them or relocating the electrical equipments you should always switch off or unplug unplug them then we should know how we can use the first aid Learning first aid is the social and the civic responsibility of every human being. If provided effectively and on time, it may save life. So we should learn how we can use the first aid to save a life. First aid is the immediate assistance provided to the injured to save life and minimize health loss till the proper medical aid facility is provided. So uh, we can use the first aid till proper medical is provided to the injured person. Every organization must have basic first aid kit. Kit must have all necessary items. Make sure to check for expiry of medical related items. So every organization, it is the responsibility of every organization to keep the first aid kit. Some rules of first aid are assure the insert to remain calm and not to panic. Always try to assure the injured person to remain calm and don't get panic. Keep them warm if they are under shock. If they get shocked, keep them, try to make them warm. Do not move the victim in case of back or neck injury if anybody gets hurt or is having the injury in the back or the neck, don't try to move that person. A worker may face occupational hazard at workplace. So the workers can also have the occupational hazard like an occupational hazard is the illness one may acquire due to his occupation, the hazard that is uh, that occurs because of the occupation, right? The, the work with that particular person is doing. Like people working in a chemical factory may get affected due to the presence of certain chemicals. We know that the people who work in the chemical factory, they are always at a risk of get hurt or get affected by the presence of chemicals. Some types of occupational hazards are physical hazards, chemical hazards, biological hazards, behavioral hazards, radiological hazards, ergonomical hazards, etc. Okay, so here we have certain case studies which are related to these uh, different hazards, hazardous situations. First, now case study one hazards due to chemicals from past two years, Ramjin worked in a chemical factory where. Come types of acids are being manufactured. He is supposed to carry a sample of chemical in a special flask with a tight cap. He went to take the sample from the dispenser and did not fix the cap properly. While carrying the chemical back, he slipped and because the cap was not fixed, the chemical spilled over his neck. So the employee get injured because of the chemical. Lower half of his face and one hand. The wor worker suffered from severe burns due to the chemical burns. So because of the reason that he did not tightly fix the cap, he get injured because of the chemicals, right? Then we have the hazard due to the electric shocks. A 43-year-old gardener was Electrocuted and lost control over his limbs while watering the plant in a park where he worked. After investigating, it was found that insulation of the electric wire from the light from the night lamp was cracked and full 220 volt current was live on the lamp pool. The park caretaker had just watered the plants and the electric current was live in the water while he watered the plants. So because of the cracked wires the electric current get transferred in the water and because and and then uh, that gardener gets shocked because of the electric current that was transferred to the water 
right then we have the case study 3000 due to the fire a storekeeper was in a habit of throwing the plastic waste and packing waste in the back door of his store the housekeeping staff was in ha, in a habit of smoking cigarette during their break time one week the pile so we uh, here we have seen two mistakes the storekeeper used to keep the used to throw the plastic garbage at the back of uh, uh, of his factory and at the same time the employees used to smoke and they also i think they also used to uh, throw the remainings of their secrets in 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 the backyard okay in the then one week the pile of the plastic in the packing garbage was not cleared not, was not cleaned one of the housekeeping staff just threw the discarded secret in in that garbage heap of plastic and packing material as the day was hot and sunny the garbage caught fire by the time the fire was noticed fire flames engulfed the whole back area causing heavy damage to the store and the back door area so because of these two things the fire could have been prevented if the shopkeeper had taken appropriate garbage disposal measures restricting smoking in the premises so we should take the different security measures to make our um occupational area safe 